Hi my loves and welcome back to another video. My name's Kat and I am going to crochet you today a mini hot water bottle cover. I'm so excited. So we have this Hug It Out yarn I got from Hobbycraft but you can use any super chunky yarn that you like. This is the colour Shell. I really really always love this colour and this is the <laughs> hot water bottle that we're going to be making a cover for. I just got this from eBay. Um, although it looks really old, but <laughs> all you need is a 10 millimeter crochet hook or NP15 in the US. I'm gonna make our slip knot. And then we're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight and if you do like these videos please like and subscribe to my channel i would love you to be a subscriber of mine i love all your comments and how you make the things that you see so okay so we're chaining uh one two three four five six seven eight and then we are going to in every stitch along we are going to single crochet one so we're going to go one two three four five six seven and in that first stitch you can do two instead of one so you're going to do seven and then eight in that stitch so it's kind of going around another one two three four five six seven eight one two three four So now you are going to be doing like a little bit of molding where you kind of shape it up this way. This is going to be the bottom of it. So the hot water bottle is going to go inside like that. Okay. So you are going to do this end. You're going to go two as well. So you're going to go one, two, and then you're going to start on the V's. So the first V is here. And you're going to go single crochet, one, single crochet again into the V, into the middle of the V. Okay. And then another one, and another one. So if you have a couple of holes like here, don't worry, that will be like right at the bottom, you won't be able to see that anyway. going to just go around and your waistcoat stitching your way along instead of going into the top of the stitch like here you're going into the V see these V's If it looks a little bit lopsided, don't worry, it will straighten out. Okay, so by this stage, there we 
go. You can kind of see how it's going to go in. How cute. And then all you've got to do is just carry on all the way around in the Vs. So you can, I know I'm so technical, guys. I'm sorry. And just carry on for like however many times you want. But however many times you want means and then you carry on for the length of your hot water bottle so however long that is you're going to do and i'll meet you back here when i've done a cover that will cover the whole thing okay so what we're going to be doing is this all the way around and i'll meet you in a minute what I've done now is just pop the hot water bottle in so you can see it from there. I'm just going to crochet a couple more rows, not many more, but just so you can't see it. And then I'm going to do a little drawstring and that will be it. So here we go. We're going to do the last couple of rows now. And I haven't even been counting because you don't even need to count because you're going the same stitch all the way around. So you're single crocheting into the middle of the V like a waistcoat stitch. Or like a heart stitch as I like to call it. <laughs> Okay, I have, oh my God, <laughs> I've got so much white ribbon going on or ribbon. Oh my God. Right, I have, I have like velvety, velvety white ribbon or I have satin white ribbon. You could use anything. I'm just so indecisive. Let's try the velvet one because we like a bit of texture, don't we? Okay, so. I, I, know, I know the one of you would like it for you know the United States dollar? Wow. What, what do we use in this country? Do you know? What does mummy have coins in my purse? Money. Yeah, it's money. And they're called pounds. Pounds and pennies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Middle. Bye-bye. Yeah. I know about New Caledonia. I'm so excited because it's finished and look. So all I've done is just threaded the ribbon all the way around and you can even you can't even see it on the back at all, which is quite nice. Even if you could see it, it would be fine. And then you need to kind of make sure it's in the middle, which I think the middle is about here. I'm just gonna actually loop it through this one as well. There we go. And yeah, I think that's kind of about the middle. And what you can do, you could even like pull it like a drawstring. A little bit like this to give it a bit of shape okay and there we go and then you're going to tie it into a bow very pretty what do you think i think it's really pretty especially for like um, a little project where you're not doing any decreasing but this is the kind of decrease this gives the decreased effect so it gives it a bit of shape and it's just really really sweet you're going to make a beautiful little bow and if you like this, please comment and like my video, subscribe to the channel. I bring out a new video every week. And if you would like this one that I've just made, please comment because I would love to send it to you. I like to give things to people. <laughs> Don't miss my video next week. Subscribe to my channel, sending you all the love. Have an amazing day. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye.